Hello and welcome back to the channel of Major Look 92, the Shaman of Dark Souls. And as you can see, I'm in a completely different area. Well, I'm actually not in a completely different area. I'm just uh, sort of advanced on the area a little bit. Um, and I've sort of got, I wouldn't say vastly superior, but I've definitely got superior gear. The reason for that is um, I, I sort of looked over the videos. I've, I've recorded about uh, five or six episodes of Blind and Live so far. I uploaded the first one, and to be honest, it pretty much just died on its ass. Um, so, you know, I, and I sort of was talking with my brother as well today that he'd been playing this today, and uh, you know, I, I kind of went over the fact that sort of recording a you know a full playthrough and the first playthrough when I haven't seen anything of the game yet, uh, having the added pressure of, you know, having to speak all the time and be entertaining whilst I'm also trying to concentrate and, and explore the game properly. I don't think I'd enjoy the game as much, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of stray off into the sort of highlight side of things, and uh, what better way to do that than to feature the first boss fight I have come across in this game. Uh, the sort of Firelink equivalent on this game, uh, Majula, has got a lot of margin for going your own way from the beginning. Uh, there's a, a lot of different paths you can take, so a lot of people's first bosses will be different. This is just personally the one that I got to first. Um, you know, as I said, um, yours might be much different. This is just personally the one that I reached first. It's at the end of the... I think it's called the Forest of Fallen Giants or something like that. So without further ado, let's do battle with the last giant. Get a nice little look at it. Look at him as he uh, struts towards us at the beginning. And we'll back off and we'll actually have a proper look at him. Pretty cool looking boss, I'm not going to lie. And he does this fall attack. Which is just free damage. It's another kind of like Iron Golem type fight, you know, a big lanky boss where you can go between the legs. Uh, he's got he has got defenses against you going between his legs. That falling attack is one of them. The stamping is another one. So he has got defenses against it. It's not you know easy easy damage or anything on him at any point, other than when he does that falling attack. When he does that and you get out of the way. Uh, that's pretty much free damage, and I'm not gonna lie about that. Let's have another proper look at him. Cool looking boss. Some sort of abyss faced giant, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But this bastard sword, this bastard sword is plus one at the minute, and I can't. I haven't got the strength to wield it one handed, so I'm two handing it currently. And it's doing some decent damage. Uh, I, I also can't block 100% with this shield. I believe it's 90 block, 90% physical block. Which is still pretty decent. I actually haven't even come across a 100% physical block shield yet, or I'd like the opportunity to buy one. So I'm making do with this at the minute, so every time I block, I am getting damaged, but it's nothing tragically bad or anything like that. That took me a little bit. Let's be careful here that I don't get infinitely stun locked. And only hit him once when I get between the feet because that stamp actually comes out quite a bit quicker than it seems like it does. He is a cool looking boss. Let's back out a little bit. Give him some space to fucking move. Most of this fight's just looking at his feet. Let's have another look at him. He is beast. Just catch him right on the Achilles. Be careful about not getting sloppy here when he's close to death. One more hit should do it. Make sure I don't get hit myself. And there's the killing blow. And down goes the last giant. And there's my achievement. I think that was either the fourth or third attempt that I'd had at it. Um, it's not a terrifically hard boss, that, uh, if you know what you're doing. But it has claimed a lot of people's lives, as you can see with these uh, these good old um, bloodstains here. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, if you are struggling with this boss, that gives you a good idea of how to, uh, how to beat him. And... Uh, 
yeah, come here, come in, probably for the next video. Like I said, probably what I'm going to try and do, uh, I'll do boss fights. If I find a really good piece of treasure, a really good weapon that you're going to want for a certain build, I'll let you know about that. And as I said, boss fights will be the probably the main focus. And uh, hopefully that will entice you to join me very soon. Praise your mum.